Hello everyone. Today we are going to start the second chapter of physical education of class 11. The name of this chapter is Olympism. In Olympism chapter, we will study about the values and objectives of Olympic Games. The Olympic Games has a history. The ancient Olympic Games first started in 1776 BC in Greece and after that it developed today which we call as modern Olympic Games. The founder of modern Olympic Games is known to be Baron Perry de Coubertin because he founded many rules and even the Olympic flag. The Olympic flag itself has a big symbolism. It is made up of five rings. Each of these rings represent the five continents. The five rings are interlocked because it shows collaboration and uh, team coordination. It also shows global solidarity and global unity through sports by making the youth take part in various physical activities to promote health. So there are various objectives, mission and aims of Olympic Games and Olympism. So we'll, come, we'll study about each of these one by one. So to start with, as I said that the ancient Olympic Games has its history in the era 1776 BC. This uh, game was a part of religious festival in the honor of the god Zeus. That is why even now when the torch is lit, the torch is lit at the temple of Zeus and after that the athlete runs the torch throughout the stadium. The first time when the Olympic torch was lit, it was lit by sunlight. But nowadays it is lit by another small torch. The word Olympic has come from the word Olympia. Olympia means a place from where uh, where this particular game started, this particular competition started. That is why we call it as Olympic. Modern Olympic is more organized because it is uh, uh, managed by various committees and organizations. So we'll study about each of these committees and organizations like International Olympic Committee, Indian Olympic Association, World Anti-Doping Association. So we'll study about each of these. So. What are the modern objectives or the objectives of modern Olympics? The objectives of modern Olympics are, as I said, to promote global unity and sporting friendship, to develop spirit of patriotism and brotherhood among everyone in all the countries, to pay attention towards physical education and games in all countries, to develop the personality, character and health among the youth. The founder, as I said, was a French man and his name was Baron Perry de Coubertin. The Olympic symbol mentions its motto. The Olympic symbol says Citius, Altuus and Fortius. That means faster, higher and stronger. So all the games in modern Olympics you will find involves fast running or any fast activity, throwing something heavy or sharp or jumping higher like high jump, long jump, short foot throwing, discus throwing, javelin throwing, running, relay race, all that. Now the five rings of the Olympic flag which I was talking about consists of first the blue ring interlocked with the yellow ring. The blue ring represents Europe and the yellow ring represents Asia. After that, the black ring and the green ring and the yellow ring are interlocked. The black ring represents Africa. And the green ring is further interlocked with the red ring. Green ring represents Australia and red ring, uh, red ring represents South America and North America. There is an Olympic oath. This Olympic oath is taken by one of the sportsmen in the opening ceremony and the oath is all about fair play and the rules of the games, which is followed by all the players throughout the Olympic Games program. The torch relay, as I said, during the ancient times or, or used to be uh, lit at the 
temple of God Zeus. Even now it is done there itself, but for the first time the torch was lit with the sun rays. But nowadays it is lit by a smaller torch. After that, the relay race is done in the spirit of continuing the values of Olympic generation after generation. The torch represents the handing over of the torch in the relay race represents that one generation gives the values of Olympic and good health, solidarity, friendship, uh, international uh, peace and collaboration and solidarity has to be handed over from one generation to the another generation. These are the common values of Olympic Games. The Olympic flame, the particular flame represents the light of spirit, knowledge and life. Objectives and values of uh, Olympic Games as I have been already saying that it is all about there are ideals of collaborating the countries, making the countries come together and to have sportsman spirit to develop the health of the youth. These are the common aims, objectives, ideals and values of Olympism. Now, uh, even for those men or women or person, those who are mentally or physically disabled, for them also Special Olympics are organized, Paralympics are organized. Now, Special Olympic is meant for those who are intellectually disabled, like mentally retarded people. For them also certain rules and certain games are made under the provision of Special Olympics. And Paralympic or Paralympic is meant for those who are not physically able or they are physically able in a special manner. For them Paralympic is organized. So that a message goes that everyone is worth and everyone has some special uh, quality and nothing can make a person stop. Even physical disability or mental disability can also not stop anyone to do better. So Paralymp uh, Paralympic, Paralympic is the same word basically. Paralympic is like joined together and it is said. Otherwise, if you break it, it is uh, spelled as or it is spoken out as Paralympic. Paralympic and Special Olympic is mainly for making people feel that those who have physical disabilities or mental disabilities also have dignity and ability to perform as equally as those who are physically abled. Hence, we say that those people, those who are physically disabled are specially abled and hence from that special word we say special olympics. Now certain committees which are uh, there to help the organization of uh, olympic games are international olympic committee at the top. It was created by Kubertin. Uh, the full name of Kubertin as I said was the founder of the olympic games. Uh, Baron D. Perry Kubertin and uh, it was done in the 23rd June 1894. International Olympic Committee is the governing body of modern Olympic Games. Is the governing body of the modern Olympic Games. It supports and promotes the sports all over the world building the sportsmanship spirit, peacefulness and uh, non-discrimination. The main function of International Olympic Committee is as I have been already saying to promote games and sports, obvious, to promote ethics and fair play, that the rules should be obeyed, to fight against doping, to make everyone follow the rules and uh, the functioning of, smooth functioning of the game, to fight against political abuse of sports and athletics or athletes, fight against any form of discrimination affecting Olympic movement, encourage and promote women in sports too. After that, International Paralympic Committee is there, which is uh, founded in Germany on 22nd of September 1989 for those who are physically disabled. It supervises Paralympic uh, Summer and Winter Games. So the Olympic game also has two seasons, uh, summer and winter. That means each of these uh, reappear or reoccur after every two years. That means the gap between one particular season's Olympic game is four years. A particular Olympic game movement will reoccur after four years because there are two seasons in it. One is winter season, that means winter Olympics and summer Olympics. So winter Olympic what happened this year will be again re-happening in the fourth year. So there is a gap of three years in between and first year and the fourth year the winter 
is played similarly for the summer olympic first year and the fourth year the summer olympics are played now there is one organization which is called as world anti doping agency this takes care that the players they do not practice doping doping means a a method in which the sportsman can think of or can take certain drug to increase or enhance their physical ability so that they don't become tired they are very efficient and they feel like continuing to do stressful physical activity for long to win the game so it is banned doping is not allowed so world anti doping agency takes care of this world olympian association it is an independent global organization it brings together all the olympic games uh, related sportsmen and helps them to take part it was established in paris in 1994 and the president of the same was samaranch world olympic foundation was founded in which uh, 100000 olympics uh, olympians around the world in the activities of olympic movement were brought together now most interestingly we also have indian olympic association under the flagship of international olympic committee it was created in 1927 and is an affiliate of international olympic committee it was founded by sir dorab ji tata and dr a g noheren noheren n o e h r e n noheren so it was created by or founded by dr uh, sir sir dorab ji tata sir dorab ji tata and dr a g noheren the selection of national team is done by such sports federation and recommended to international olympic agency or association so indian olympic association they do the selection part and after that they send the selected sportsman to the international olympic committee the objectives of indian olympic association is same as that of international olympic committee it is all about development and uh, promotion of olympic movement to obey and protect the rights of international olympic committee to encourage the youth for physical moral and cultural education and to take strict action against the misbehavior during the sports before the sports or any other thing related with olympic movement to create national olympic academics and museums related to olympic and to oppose discrimination on the grounds of race religion caste and color that was all about olympism and this chapter aims at building good values among children and in the school it is also suggested that we can also have mock olympic games in which we can develop some international learning and uh, the methods of organizing olympic games can be learned by role play method in the school so during the uh, sports day in the school it is suggested that the schools may also do mock olympics so that students learn about what olympic is a, is and what are the values of olympics now to get the question answers related with this chapter and the important questions you can contact me in person or i will try to associate a pdf file or a ms word file along with this video to whomsoever i send so that the students are benefited thank you